face lipsticks aren't hairy, can I get a refund? Now I'm sure you're wondering, Alex, why the biohazard suit and the blue rubber gloves? Well, it's simple. I have more common sense than the people that are manufacturing Jaclyn Hill cosmetics. But in all seriousness, there's uh, three main reasons why I'm in today's attire, and that is one, because I have absolutely no idea what is in these lipsticks. You know, some people are saying it's hair, Jaclyn says it's white fibers from fuzzy gloves, some people think it's fungus. Really, there's no way of knowing. Uh, number two is that I saw a lot of comments on other Jaclyn Hill videos from people saying, oh, well, the fibers have come from you. You're contaminating the lipstick. So, you know, I just wanted to remain neutral, make sure that there's no risk of that. Uh, and number three, to prove a point. Even uh, the people in Breaking Bad have a cleaner meth lab than uh, where Jacqueline manufactures her lipsticks. <laughs> now that I've got that over and done with, let's cut to the chase. I know why you're here. You're here because you want to see if yet another YouTuber has fuzzies on their lipstick. I have had 20 days to imagine all sorts of terrible things that may be growing in this box. Because yes, uh, I did buy the lipsticks the second that they launched, actually wait, well, I was stuck in checkout land for about 25 minutes, but after that I purchased the lipsticks as soon as they launched, and then they it didn't come for 20 days, despite me paying 20 US dollars for shipping. So I guess, you know, it, it's a dollar a day to get myself some fuzzy lipstick, so it's a pretty good deal. My imagination has been running wild for the past 20 days, and I've thought of so many different things that could be awaiting me in this video. for the pack of 20, plus the $20 shipping came to a total of 315 US dollars, which for me, uh, a humble Australian, at an exchange rate of 1 Australian dollar to 0.66 US cents, that cost me uh, a measly 475 Australian dollars for a pack of 20 lipsticks that I'm sure I won't feel very comfortable using. Now, other YouTubers did have a chance to upload their controversial videos before Jaclyn Hill made a statement of her own, but uh, because I'm here in Australia and it did take quite a long time, I'm late to the party, but in Jaclyn's video, she addressed five main topics. She talked about, one, the fact that her lipsticks had black bubbles, now, she attributed that to something to do with them not cooling at the right temperature and there being oxygen bubbles or something. Point number two was that there's supposed to be lumps and bumps in the lipstick, which she attributed to the vats that they used to mix the products didn't melt the raw materials fast enough or something. Issue number three were the little chin hairs growing out the top of the lipstick, which she attributed to her workers uh, wearing white fuzzy gloves. Now I actually managed to score myself an interview with one of the people that was working at the time wearing the said white fuzzy gloves. issue that she addressed was the funny patches that kind of looked a little bit like fungus, which she says is apparently sweat patches because it's quite warm 
or something, which ties directly with the fact that a lot of the lipsticks are melting, which again, she says, is because it's hot in America uh, and they're going a bit gooey inside the parcel when they're being delivered and she's blaming it on the trucks being hot inside and all that sort of thing and sitting on people's porches, getting hot in the sun. Well, it's, it's winter in Australia right now, so if these are melted, there's either a lot of residual heat left in there from when they were shipped from America, or there's something wrong with the formula. <laughs> now the main thing that irked me from her video was that she didn't address the fact that people are actually getting really, really sick. Now, you know, one image surfaced where a person said that they had an issue with their lips, uh, and I was like, oh geez, you know, sucks to be you. Two images surfaced, three came to light, and now there's a bunch of them floating around, and I really personally don't feel safe swatching these on my lips, or at least not until I hear back from some sort of lab that gives me the guarantee that there is no fungus growing on them. Now, yes, I will be sending one of these lipsticks to a lab. I actually have a family friend that works in cosmetic manufacturing who was able to tell me a couple of different labs in Australia that I can send these to that do independent testing. So I will be doing that. I'll leave one of them unpackaged so that way it's not contaminated. Yeah, until I get that result, I don't really feel comfortable swatching it on my lips. So if you were just here to see how the shades perform on the lips, this is not the video for you, but let's be honest, no one clicks on a Jaclyn Hill lipstick video to see how they swatch, they're all here to see what's growing on them. I mean, sure, Jaclyn did say that they are completely safe to use, and you know what, yeah, yeah, sure, I'm happy to trust her. Everything Jaclyn Hill says is trustworthy. I mean, just, just ask Marlene Estelle. You know, aside from the fact that the batch codes in her receipts in her video don't actually match the batch codes on the bottom of the lipstick, and aside from the fact that uh, some of her receipts are dated back to 2017, yeah, why would she lie? Let's be honest. <laughs> now, the main perpetrators that are causing people distress are the shades Fussy, which should probably be named Fuzzy, and uh, the shade As If, which is short for As If Jacqueline Thinks That People Are Gonna Fall For Her Bullshit. I'm very excited to open up this box and have a look at those shades. This actually just arrived today. I have not opened it. I wanted to unbox it on camera for you guys, show you my very first impressions, and if there's no fur on these lipsticks, I'm gonna really, really want a refund. <laughs> because uh, I want the views. I want to make the money back because it cost me a lot. <laughs> So I think that's about enough talking. You're all here to see what's inside this box, so uh, let's jump into it. Nothing yet. Return policy. We want you to fall in lux with your Jaclyn Cosmetics purchase, but if you're not happy, we'll take it back. Purchases made from our website may be returned up to 30 days after confirmed delivery for a refund in the original form of payment. Sorry, we can't refund the cost of shipping. Please report missing, damaged or defective products within 30 days of delivery and we'll replace the damaged products at no additional charge. What about a refund instead of a replacement? Because, you know, there have been a lot of people receiving their replacement lipsticks and they're looking like this. <laughs> anyway. Let's jump into it. Here's the box. Now, I do have with me a second camera with a macro lens. It may not be Christie's uh, microscope, but hey, it's gonna get in there pretty close. I'm gonna place that here for the duration of the video so you can see that I'm not, you know, opening it and then dipping it in some bird feathers and then putting it back on camera. Now, this is a YSL lipstick that I bought many, many, many years ago and it cost me a lot of money and it is definitely expired, but I like to keep it on my vanity to uh, make people think that I'm really, really bougie. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put this on my lips if someone paid me. But this is gonna be my test subject, or my uh, control subject, because it's just the tiniest, tiniest little bit melty <laughs> because of how old it is. Oh, and is that, is that hair? That is indeed, that, that's a hair right there, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a perfect control unit for us. Okay, I do have to give it to Jaclyn Hill. Her, her packaging is very nice. That's something that she's always sort of got on point and on brand. It's really, really bougie. It does look quite classy. Uh, why isn't it? What am I doing wrong? Uh, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> Here they are. Okay, let's start off with the shade Amazeballs because it's the first one out of the pack. Ooh, 
thing was, this is actually, it's very, very hefty. I did not expect it to be as heavy as it is. The little diamond on the top kind of looks like something you'd buy from Claire's. Uh, it doesn't look as brilliant or exciting as she kind of made it out to be in her own video. It does look the tiniest little bit cheap. Um, there's, hmm, look, there's some little black dots on the outside. Can you see that? Uh, I thought that we were wearing white fuzzy gloves during manufacturing to prevent any imperfections on the packaging. Let's open her up. Okay, this is, this is about, <laughs> this is a real situation where I, I was not gonna believe it until I saw it and I'm seeing it. Look at that right on the top there. That's absolute madness. Now what was this shade called again? Cynthia. Huh. Okay, let's uh, pack you and the little squiggly, oh, multiple squigglies. Oh, I didn't even notice. Look, there's more. Look at that! Okay, there's one right there on the top, and then there's also one on the side. <sighs> Number two. Now this shade is called Thomas Halbert without his toupee. Okay. Oh sorry, Jacqueline's name for it is a hustle. Are we ready? Oh my god. Is this gonna be like a trifecta. Are we gonna get every single problem that we could possibly get? Look at that. Are you seeing that? Look at that. If I sort of turn it in the light like that, you can see all the little bubbles and the imperfections and everything. Can you see the hair on the side there? Wow. But yeah, what really concerns me with this one is on the top of it, it's not just little black dots, but it's also like scratch marks. That's so weird. Oh my gosh, okay. in this one. Look, right here, there's a dent. Like, clear as day. Oh look! Look at that! That's so weird! Why? Is Jacqueline just like out of frustration just throwing these things at the wall? <laughs> okay, this next shade is called uh, My Chin Hairs Before I Pluck Them, or uh, That Girl, as Jacqueline would call it, because you know she is really that girl that's all hairy lipsticks. Do you see just on the side here, there's a little tiny white fleck. Okay, that's that's promising. What are we gonna find in this one? Oop, yep, there's hairs in this too. And there's uh, little black bubbles as well. Here we go, if I hold it like that, you can see the little black bubbles really, really clearly. Okay, so far we have three that have obvious imperfections. Okay, this next shade is called Decaf, or uh, as I like to call it, Belly Button Lint. Oop, this one also has a little white fleck on the edge of the packaging there. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh! oh! Look! Look, there's that mark! Now, Jacqueline was calling this, like, uh, as though the lipsticks were sweating. Um, you know, other people want to call it fungus. I would, uh, be so inclined as to say that I don't want to put that anywhere near my lips looking like that, just on the off chance that it is something other than a sweat patch. Now, obviously, you know, Jacqueline's made her official statement. She's told us what it's meant to be, but this is why I'm going to be going forth to do my own third-party testing. Hey Dan, can you come look at this for me? Can you just have a little look on the front of this lipstick? I mean, don't get too close because you're not wearing a, a mask or any protective wear. What do you think? What do you see? I see a fingerprint. A fingerprint! <gasps> do you think that's a fingerprint? Yeah, I think so. It totally does look like a very, very small fingerprint. Maybe it belongs to one of Jacqueline's minions. Okay. Look like. No, 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 don't open it. Oh, sorry. No, no, oh, see, sorry. No, oh, no, God. No, wait. Oh, no. I, I need to harvest all of the hairs. I'm going to send them to 23andMe. The next shade is called a scrotum, or a cheeky, as Jacqueline calls it. Ooh. Ooh, look. You can see on the inside of the tube, there's like lipstick all around the inside. That's something under the surface for sure. 
Okay, so now Jack Lay's theory that, you know, when the people were putting the lids on these or something because they were wearing fuzzy gloves and that's how the fibers were getting there. But that does not really explain how the fibers are getting inside the product itself. Now her explanation to that was that they were getting in there because they were wiping down the vats with white towels. There were people inside the vats cleaning them with white towels. Now, you know, I've actually seen some tweets by people that work in these sorts of, I mean it's not even a lab, Jacqueline keeps referring it as a lab, she keeps saying oh you know the people in my lab, but the lab is where the lipstick itself is formulated and then once they have the formula they send it off to like a production place, like a manufacturing line. It's not a lab where they create you know hundreds of thousands of lipsticks, so if what she's saying is that the people that were manufacturing the lipstick were climbing into the vats and using towels, I mean I've seen heaps of tweets from people that work in situations like that and it's all automated. People don't climb inside and use towels. This tweet I don't really remember exactly. I'll put it up here because this explains it pretty well. Okay, this next shade is called The Sink After Daniel's Finished Shaving, or Isla, as uh, Jacqueline calls it. Ooh. Cat, I didn't catch that on camera, but something weird just happened. When I tipped this out of the box, a bunch of stuff came out of the box and fell onto my phone. My phone's on my lap. Look, can you see that on my phone, on the surface of my phone? Do you see all those little dots? They all just fell out of that lipstick container. Just on the top of this one, there's some bubbles. Ooh! Yikes! I'm sure you can imagine what I'm about to say. <laughs> they smell the same. That's so weird. What? The lipstick literally smells expired. Okay, so that one's just got the bubbles. So that could be a good contender for just like swatching on something, maybe on my skin, maybe. Sophia? I don't want to say anything bad about this one because it kind of sounds like Sophia. And I love Sophia Nygaard, so I, you know what? I don't want to say anything bad about this shade. Oh no. Oh no. What is that? That is that Do you see that? What is that? That is not that's not a hair. That's not like a fiber. What is that? That I swear to God, that is a piece of metal. I swear to God, like that's, it's, it's reflective. Oh, oh my lord. Oh my f No, no, no. I have no jokes, I'm sorry. This isn't funny anymore. This was never funny. This is literally that's metal. That is straight up either metal or it's glass because it's reflective. I'm speechless. Speechless right now. That's absolute insanity. That is a sharp object that is reflective sticking out of this piece of lipstick and Jaclyn Hill Jacqueline Hill needs to recall this stuff. Literally, this isn't a game anymore. This isn't funny. This isn't her five perfect excuses as to why there's little imperfections here and there. She needs to recall it. Companies have insurance for shit like this. Literally, Marlene Estelle talked about how one of her concealers was something went wrong with it. She pulled the whole thing, cost a lot of money, but there's insurance. Companies have insurance for things like this and Jaclyn Hill needs to recall this lipstick. There's literally people putting up pictures of themselves being cut on their lips when they swatched it and I was like, no, no, surely not. Like, surely someone's pulling a prank. There is something metal or glass in that lipstick right there. I'm literally getting emotional. Like, I feel like I'm on the verge of tears right now. Like, this is not funny. 
I wanted this to be a funny video. This is nuts. Absolutely insane. Jaclyn Hill has no integrity if she is letting people continue to purchase this. The second that people started noticing anything, whether it was fuzzies or, you know, little bumps and things like that, she should have pulled it. She's telling people it's completely safe to use and she probably has a young audience of people that are like, sure Jaclyn, it's safe to use, I'll buy it too. And they're going to put that on their lips. Who knows what could happen to them? This is insanity. This makes me so angry that this woman gets away with so much. She's had that many launches that have gone terribly wrong and it gets to a point where you notice the common denominator and that is Jaclyn Hill. Whether it was with Becca or Makeup Geek or Morphe or now her own line, something goes wrong and it can't be multiple different brands that are all f***ing up at the same time. She's the common denominator so if she doesn't pull this line, I don't know what it's going to take to have it pulled, whether it's going to... I mean, if this is internationally sold as well, like, you know, if something happens in Australia, does that mean it'll be a worldwide recall? I mean, there's no batch numbers, there's nothing that can say, oh, you know, batch number 102 is the one that has the shards of glass, so we'll pull that, because every single lipstick has the same batch number, which is absolutely bonkers. Whoever's running this company, whether it's her or some anonymous spac is, they have no common sense. You know, she's saying that all of this was made in one month. In her video, she said that, oh, you know, it took her five years to perfect the canister, five years to perfect the component, and yet she manufactured and got out, what, hundreds of thousands of lipsticks, and she said she did it in May of this year, and it went to launch in June. Okay, if that's the truth, no wonder there's so many problems. What sort of a company creates in one month goes from the manufacturing line to everything being done to being sold in that amount of time. No wonder there's problems, no wonder there's shards of whatever the hell that is. <sighs> I'm sorry, I had to let that out. Seeing that, I mean seeing the fuzzies and everything, that was one thing, but seeing that, nah. This lipstick needs to be recalled. Like, you know there's a change.org petition, right? Go sign it. Anyway, Let's have a look at oh, how ironic the shade is called Perfectionist. Wow, couldn't have timed that one better. See that on the side? <gasps> Yikes, that's a huge one. Okay, the next one is a hot toddy. I thought it said hot today. <laughs> I was gonna say, ah, that's why they're all melting because it's very hot today. Yep, okay, there's black holes, something furry on this one too. This one isn't as bad as some of the others. Oh, whoa, hang on, whoa. Oh, what's that under the surface there? Oh, oh. There's something under the surface. Oh, oh that one stinks too. Oh, look at that. What is that? Look, on the side. I don't understand, what is that? Yeah, okay, well this must be- wow, this- the side of this one is covered in stuff. It's covered in little furry white bits. Look. Oh dear. Okay. Ambition. Yeah, ambition, right. I can see she has stack loads of ambition. It's all in the execution though. <laughs> Yikes, and she has personally executed her own brand with this launch. Oh! Would you look at that? <gasps> look! It's fine! Okay guys, we have our first okay lipstick. <laughs> okay, Nude AF. Oh god. Look at that. You see on the tip there? Just the tip. And uh, did I tell you this shade name is Balzac? The next shade is as if Jaclyn Hill thought that this was a good idea. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> wow, look! Oh lord, oh my god. Okay, that's funny. That's the shade as if. So um, that was the one that a lot of people were you know, tweeting about, what, I just, they all say GC05A, no matter what the shade is, they all say that. I just, I have no words, I have no words. That one can go up the front here with the three really bad ones. Okay, 
sorry. Just in case anyone says, oh, you know, those, those hairs came from you. Yes, my hair has gone white because of this traumatic incident. Oh, okay, that one's fine. I don't see anything wrong with that one. Tipsy. Okay, yeah, there's something under the surface on this one too. Yeah, you can see it really clearly under there. There's something under there. Oh dear. Independent. Ooh, look at that. Look at that huge hair on the side. Yikes. Gossip. Gossip. <laughs> oh, all I can think of is Sam from here for the tea. <laughs> all the gossip that she's gonna have after this saga. What gossip will this lipstick provide us with? Okay, yep, this is gonna trip your phobia, or tryptophobia, or whatever you call that. Look at that. Oof. Look, I want the trifecta. I want the holes, and the lumps, and the bumps, and the hair sticking out all at the same time. That's what I want. Oh, the shade Fussy. Oh, I don't think I should open this. I think this should be the one that I send off, because everyone had problems with As If, and my As If was hairy, and everyone had problems with the shade Fussy. So, I'm just gonna leave that, because, you know, one of the things is when you send it to a lab, if I open it here, yeah, I could contaminate it, so I'll leave that one intact. The shade Mum. Ooh. Ooh. Now see, this is this is what people are saying. The, see that? See that on the surface there? Like, people are kind of concerned that that could be some sort of mold or fungus. Now again, like I said earlier, Jacqueline reckons that this is like a sweat droplet from condensation or something to do with the heat or something like that. But, look, yeah, it just kind of makes me a bit uncomfortable. Like, I've never seen that on lipsticks before. I mean, maybe you have, but I haven't. I'm really excited. I shouldn't say excited. But I'm excited to get test results back because, you know, like, everything could be totally fine. Let's hope for Jaclyn Hill's sake it is fine. But seeing things like that is definitely alarming. Control freak, which uh, she obviously wasn't during the production of all this, because if she had a bit better control, maybe none of this would have happened. Or maybe it all happened because she was in control. We'll never know. Ugh. Look at that. Can you see that? What is that? Ew. Uh, do you see? There, yeah, look at that. How weird is that? I don't know what that is. Okay, last but not least, badass. <gasps> do you see that? Little hair there. Little baby hair. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ew, nope, no, hang on. No, I found a bigger one. Just there, do you see that? Okay. Ooh, what's that? Look. Tube. I don't know what that is. What the hell? That's so strange. What is that? You know, that must be one of the fibers from the gloves that the employees were wearing. I don't know. Wow, thank god that wasn't on the lipstick. That's really gross because it's got like this slightly darker patch on it that kind of looks like blood, but it's probably just lipstick. There you go, guys. We have thoroughly analyzed every single lipstick except for fussy, which I'll send off to the lab. This is getting very, very hot. I think I've proved a point. You know, I, I at least showed you all of the issues immediately so that you could see that when I'm opening the things, none of them, none of that stuff was coming off me. That was straight off the lipstick. So you've seen it now. Let me get some tweezers. Let me get some pieces of paper. I will be right back to dissect this. Of the 19 that I opened, only four didn't have obvious signs of something terribly wrong with them. So we'll start off with Control Freak. So this one has that strange kind of weird patch on the side of it. And it's also got like a little dot on the top. I think what I'm gonna do, I'll swatch this on my arm. I can hear a lot of my subscribers screaming at me right now, but I'm interested to see if it sort of you know, leaves me itchy or anything, because there were some people that said they swatched it on their arm first and it left like a rash. You know, we'll give it 10, 20 minutes for the rest of this video and then at the end I'll wipe that off and see how we go. We've got Obsessed. Okay, again, nothing on the surface of this one. There's a little white something just there. Do you see that? See that on my finger? It's like shiny. I found my first solid bit. It's like digging for gold. Look at that, just there, do you see that? That's something solid, some sort of ball. Look at that! It's a perfectly round little ball. Now, yeah, Jacqueline was saying the ingredients didn't melt properly. Can we pop it like a pimple? Oh, okay, so 
it popped and it feels really, really sandy. It had like a really gritty, sandy texture. So hey, at least it did pop. I was concerned that it was gonna be rock solid and that would kind of indicate that it's like metal or plastic or something. But uh, yeah, okay, so that was just a couple of swipes of the shade Obsessed. See, that's all I had to do on that shade and then it revealed that. So maybe if I go a little bit harder. Do you see that, just on the edge there? Another one of those little balls. I would love to know exactly what component of the lipstick that is, you know? Like, is it some sort of little wax balls or something? You know, like some sometimes what they put like beeswax or something, I don't know. Any more? Okay, this is where I get concerned because it's one thing to find objects that are the same color as the lipstick, but when you spot something black in your lipstick, that is definitely Definitely cause for concern. There is a little black dot. Do you see that? There you go. If I kind of move it in that light, you can kind of- Oh my god! <laughs> the focus tracking box on my camera is literally hovering over the dot. It's picking it up clear as day. What are you, my friend? This is literally how Daniel and I spend our Saturday night, picking black things out of each other's faces. Oh my god, it's just like a blackhead. <laughs> Okay, it's kind of like covered in lipstick. I'm just gonna sort of rub it a little bit between my fingers and see if I can wipe the lipstick off. Look at that, right there. On the tip of my finger. Do you see that? Wow, I don't know what that is. But the tracking box on my camera is still picking it up. What part of her formula has little black dots in it? I mean, I understand something that's the same color as the lipstick coming out because it didn't melt properly. Oh my god, there's another one! Do you see that? Do you see that sort of gash just there? So, I noticed that, I noticed the gash, and then I looked really closely at the spot that I'd just gone over, and look, there's another little black dot just there. Do you see that? Do you see the black dot just there? That's different from this black dot. That's so weird, as I'm moving it, I wonder if you can hear this. Nah, you won't be able to hear it, but I can hear like a, a dragging sound, like like as though there's something sharp in here rubbing against as I'm swiping. Another black dot, do you see that one? That's something else solid. I think I'm gonna be sick. What is that? It's like a chunk. <gasps> what is that? Look! Oh my god, it's rock solid. Oh my god, is this plastic? No. this all the way out and then I found another long hair. Look how long that hair is. Okay, so I'm gonna get some sticky tape so I can start collecting the things that I'm pulling out of this lipstick. Okay, so I'm gonna put the sticky tape over the name so you can see. Look, I'm on the shade Obsessed. 
I've got that weird bit of plastic and the little black dot and there's definitely more in this mix here. Gee, I'm gonna need more paper. <laughs> Yikes, okay. Uh, I, I don't know if I should keep going with this or if I should just give up on it. Oh! Black hair, I have found a black hair, look. Look at that, oh, do you see that? <gasps> right there, look at that. Black hair. Look at that, you can see it clear as day. The black hair. Oh look, there's more black hair, look! The closer you look, the more you see. Look, that one's really like embedded in there, look. And as you guys can see, being a, a ginger, I do not suffer from any little black bodily hairs. All of my hairs are white and you can hardly see them, and the hair on my head is obviously red. So uh, that's definitely not come from me, and it hasn't come from Jaclyn Hill's white fuzzy gloves that her uh, workers were apparently wearing. So unless she's going to tell us now that they're wearing black fuzzy gloves, I think there is without a doubt some sort of contamination. I mean, this is literally the second lipstick that I've started wiping on paper, and I have pulled out a little bit of plastic, bits of black fur, little black dots, and also white furry bits. So if all of that is in the one shade, obsessed, oh my god, I can't even begin to think what I'm about to find in the rest of them. Okay, look, let's take out this little black hair too. Oh, it's a long one. Oh, wow, it's really long. Look at that. Wait. No, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Tell me that is not an organic piece of hair. I wasn't prepared for this. I really... I was 100% certain, I know, 150% certain that I wouldn't find anything wrong with these lipsticks. I was absolutely positive. I was like, surely, I mean, Jacqueline says it's 0.01% of people are affected. Surely I won't be. And I find that. Okay. Well, oh god, I feel like this is a gold mine, this lipstick. I just keep finding more and more and more. Hang on, let me keep going for a minute. Okay, I have a nice fresh stack of paper because I feel like there's more to be discovered in this lipstick. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, what have we got here? Look, okay, so we've got a little bit of black hair just here. Dig that out. Let's get in there. Okay, so we have another ball. Oh! What's that? Definitely something dark under the surface there. What is that? What is that? It literally looks like a toenail. Look at my little collection. So we got that thing, whatever that is. We've got a little ball and a hair. We've got a black hair with a, a root by the looks of it. And another little black hair. Wow, what happened to you? That's, that's what I wanna know. I wanna know what this lipstick has been through. <laughs> that on the end of the pin there, little black thing. It's a curly black hair. <sighs> okay, well that's that's the bottom of the lipstick. 
I've, I've gotten all the way to the bottom. There's probably some more in the base just there. Okay, getting really, wow, there's a hell of a lot of product down in. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna kind of like smoosh this around a little bit and see what's hiding in there. Okay, um, geez. You know, my wrist is starting to get really, really itchy and I wanna get this stuff off my fingers. Probably shouldn't have smooshed around with my fingers like that, but uh, you know, I wanted to really feel the texture of it and see what I could find in there. I've definitely found a couple of things. I'll give you a good close up, but this is literally itching the buggery out of my wrist right now. I need to take it off. Can you see that? You see how red my wrist is just there? I don't want to immediately jump to conclusions and say that it's given me a rash, so I will leave it until the end of this video and then check back, and if it's still red at the end, I'm going to be very concerned. <laughs> so, here you go. You can see there's all these like little chunky bits. There's whatever this thing was that I found over here. That was solid, whatever that is. These are all bits that I couldn't get to break apart with my finger. So, I mean, maybe they just need a bit more pressure. It's probably just all the raw ingredients and everything, but that is a, not a very smooth makeup application when you have to deal with all these lumps and bumps. Like, look at this one. Where is it? Look at that. That one looks like an axolotl. Independent. Okay, so this one looked fine on the surface, remember? Okay, not much is turning up on this one. I'm happy to pack that one away because I feel like if I get halfway through and I don't find anything, there's no point carrying on. Nude AF. I didn't apply any more pressure to that than I put on any of the other lipsticks. Look what happened to it. And it wasn't fully extended either. It was like down like this when that happened. It was like further down. I didn't have it fully extended. I didn't put any more pressure on that. Oh, look. No. Why? That's so weird. What can I do now? <laughs> Guess there's no point carrying on with that one. I definitely feel like that one has a different formula to some of the others because, like, how can that one be so much softer and the others are so firm? I feel like. They must have different formulas, surely. Okay, so onto Hot Toddy now, and you can see there's all the holes in the top, but there's also that hair just there. <gasps> no! Look, I applied literally no pressure and that happened. Why? 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 It's like a loose tooth. As if, oh dear. Yep. That's right. Oh, this one's really bad. Like straight out the front, out the face of it. Like not just out the tip, but like growing out the face of it, it's got hairs. That's one I'm gonna have to get some close-up photos of. Don't wanna ruin that, I wanna keep that one intact. Uh, what about this one? Sophia. Oh, this is the one that has the fleck! Look, look, look. Look at that. Look, see how I move it? When I move it, you can see. Clear as day, that is reflective. That's definitely metal. Oh, perfect photo, you can see it clear as day. All right, what are you? Okay, so I've put the tape over it so you can't quite see it as well with the tape over, but feeling it, it's rock solid. That's not glitter, it's like three dimensional. There's definitely something to that. That's like a piece of metal. Will I find anything else? <gasps> Look, you probably can't tell. On the end of the pin there is another little reflective metal bit. It's covered in lipstick because it's come from further in the tube, but that's definitely metal. See that? It's covered in lipstick, but it's shiny, it's reflective. Now I've found two. So if you look at the surface here, look at those really, really distinct, very straight lines. I'm going back and forth over this piece of paper, and I reckon that there's more of those little shards mixed in, but they're just covered in lipstick, so I can't see them, because those very, very sharp lines 
They're so precise and so sharp that it wouldn't just look like that if it was just little balls or soft things that are kind of catching on the paper. Because look how straight they are. I think that I'm catching something because I can hear it. I would be very, very cautious if I were you and wanting to actually use this as a lipstick and not just a, a glorified crayon. <laughs> Look at that. On the end of the needle there, look at that. See on the end of my nail there? There, ah, oh, you can see it clear as day. Look at that. Okay, so just to prove a point, so you can see the little piece of metal is right there. And I'm gonna prove that it's metal because here's a magnet. This is just like an everyday fridge magnet. Um, I'm just gonna hover, look, I have a little safety pin just here. Just to prove that this is a magnet. Oop, oop, there you go. So see, it's a magnet. I'm going to hover it over this little thing that I suspect to be metal, just here on the end of my fingernail. Look at that. Sticking to it perfectly. There you go. If that's not metal, I mean, I don't know what is. It's sticking to a magnet. Like, what, what else can I say? That's wild. Look at it. Gee. And you know what? I found three pieces like that. Three. God, I'm like, I'm fuming right now. I just, I do not understand how Jacqueline could make that video and address the five points that she addressed and not mention at all about the fact that people are hurting themselves. You know, like these pictures that are coming forward on Twitter where people are showing little bits of metal that they're pulling out of their lipstick, as if she isn't even gonna address that. No, of course she's not gonna address that, obviously, but she's not gonna address it because she doesn't want to draw attention to it. Okay, so let's have a look at Isla now. This is a really, really pretty shade. Another one. I wonder why some of them break and some of them don't. That's so weird. It's really strange how they break off. Look, look at that. Look how it's kind of like domed on the inside and then that's a dome there. It's almost like that's just been like stuck on the top. It's really, really weird. Like it breaks up in a perfect dome. That's so strange. Okay, what are we on now? Oh, I keep coming back to this as if. Okay, I'll take the picture now. Oh, that one's terrible. So bad. There's so many hairs on this. Gee, look at that. Look how many there are. <gasps> oh, that's so bad. It literally straight up looks like a hairy s***. Wow, look how they're just sticking straight out the front of it. That's so weird. Hello, I'm coming to you from the camera with the macro lens on it because my main camera just ran out of battery. I don't have enough batteries to make it through the rest of these lipsticks. I think you guys have seen enough. I think you get the point. So I'm just gonna sit here quietly and do this all myself and then uh, change the camera around and everything and I'll, I'll be back soon. I'm finally done. I'll just quickly show you uh, my findings. Nude AF broke. Hot Toddy, that also broke. Sophia was the one that I found the metal parts in. Control Freak was okay. Obsessed had little flecks of black and what kind of looked like little flecks of plastic or toenails, I have no idea. Decaf, that broke. That Girl had little, so many little balls in it, like, Tons and tons and tons. Every time I swiped, there were just little balls everywhere. Amaze balls, surprisingly, also had balls. I did find one like really, really noticeably white ball in Amaze balls, and it was also covered in hair. Hustle was the hairiest lipstick out of all of them. Isla, I don't have anything for that. As if was hairy. Perfectionist was hairy. Independent, ambition, and tipsy were all okay. Gossip had hair in it. Badass was fine. Mum had hair and, oh, that's right. It had like a weird sort of like fingerprint looking thing on it. And it had black hairs in it and then it broke. So mum, that was this one, that had heaps of black hairs in it. Uh, and the shade Cheeky was all right. It's obvious that there's something very, very, very wrong with this lipstick. And it's definitely going beyond 
the problems that Jacqueline talked about in her video. I just find it absolutely insane that she didn't address the black hairs, but she addressed the white hairs. Obviously she couldn't think of some excuse as to why there were black hairs. She didn't talk about the fact that people are getting sick. And after looking at this, I can definitely see why people are having issues, you know, whether they're cutting themselves or maybe they're getting ill from something in it, I don't know, but Look, I'm really at this point where I'm not comfortable putting it on my lips until I get results back from the lab. So most of the labs that I've contacted, it seems like it's about a two week turnaround. Obviously today is the first day that I've received the item. So from today, if I can somehow get these posted, hopefully I'll have some results out. I can make another video where we follow up. I think I'm gonna try for a refund because I mean, literally I almost spent 500 Australian dollars on this and for me to, not comfortably use it. Uh, I think I deserve a refund after going through this. If you want to do some more research into the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics line, I'm going to link some articles below. I definitely recommend that you read the article by Zadi Doll. Follow her on Twitter. She has a really, really thorough blog article talking all about these problems basically from the very beginning and she goes into a lot of depth about it. It's definitely worth a read. Uh, I also recommend that you look to people like Kevin James Bennett, Marlene Estelle. You know, these are industry professionals that really know what they're doing and they really know what they're talking about. Don't forget to check out Raw Beauty Christie's video if you haven't yet. Jen Loves Reviews also has a really good one up too. Uh, I really think that if Jacqueline's priority was her fans, she would have just pulled this as soon as the issues started to arise. But the fact that she's continuing to say to people, it's safe, it's fine, it's safe. Yes, let's say it is safe. You're getting people that are receiving their products and they're not happy and like, I just don't understand why she doesn't recall it. Just recall the damn wine, I don't understand. I mean, how much more respect would you have for Jacqueline if she just pulled the line and said, I'm really sorry everyone, it's not perfect, we're going to start again. I feel like so many people would be like, yeah, good on you, that's the right thing to do. But instead, she's just digging herself in a deeper, deeper, deeper hole by letting people continue to buy these products. So, um... Sorry that this video started out fun and then got really serious because as soon as I found those bits of metal, I was like, mm, this isn't this isn't fun anymore. This isn't a game. This is this is people's safety. This is people's health. This is dangerous. This is all my opinion uh, and some facts, as you can see, as things that I've showed you. But uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you purchased the lipsticks and what you found in your lipstick. Let me know if you're looking forward to the test results when they come out. Hopefully, uh, for Jacqueline's sake, hopefully everything is fine. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Normally my videos are a bit more fun than this. Normally I have my beautiful pet birds with me in the videos, but obviously I didn't want them sort of contaminating anything or getting contaminated themselves. So that's why they weren't here today. But uh, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in fashion and makeup in Japan and uh, hit the notification bell so you know next time that I post a video. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. It's pretty fast all please. And, uh, Give this video a thumbs up, show some uh, support for the hours of effort that I sat here pulling hairy things off the uh, $500 worth of lipstick that I bought. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!